Kickoff action for the final week of the high school football regular season in the gray as the Jones County Greyhounds celebrated senior day. That too for a huge class of 31 as they took on Union Grove. The first drive of the game for the Wolverines. The quarterback launches it looking to make a play, but Tay Latmore is there to pick it off as he sets up the Greyhounds that come out on offense. Jones County would take advantage of the turnover as Devin Edmonds finds Tyler Stewart on the bubble screen. He takes it in for the first score of the game and Greyhounds up 7-0. Now following Jones County drive, Edmonds, he gets the snap, steps back, launches it deep to Stewart as it's dime time. A perfect ball for the 59-yard touchdown as Jones County quickly takes a 14-0 lead. Now once again, Greyhounds ball. Edmonds this time surveys the field and he would find a wide open Javion Solomon for a 47 yard touchdown. The fireworks continued and Jones County up 21 nothing. Greyhounds possession once again. This time Edmonds, it's a short dump off to Cohen Barfield. He would go untouched as he scores from 29 yards out. The Jones County takes a 27 nothing lead after getting the extra point block. Now Greyhounds with the ball after recovering a fumble. Once again, Edmonds showing off the arm. Launches a perfect ball to Stewart for one more touchdown before halftime as Jones County would go on to win in dominating fashion, 41 to seven. With the victory, Jones County locks in the two seed for the state playoffs and will now host Northside Columbus next week. Now we head to Ed to four sports complex as Southwest Econ Central and the Patriots start the game up two nothing after forcing a safety. Southwest would tack on another six after that as running back Christian Hill powers his way into the end zone as Patriots go up 8-0 following the unsuccessful point after. After forcing a central turnover, Patriots quarterback Chase Dupree takes the snap and this time he would look deep for his receiver. However, Chargers defender Stephen Bryant, perfect defense there, keeps the Patriots out of the end zone, but Dupree he wouldn't let that stop him as later in the drive he takes the ball for himself, turning on the Jets, getting into the end zone on a 15-yard touchdown run. And Pages would go for two as Hill works his way in for the two-point conversion and Patriots up 16-0. And after another unsuccessful Chargers drive, Patriots come right back onto the field, get right back into the end zone as running back James May scores and they're up 23-0. Chargers now punting. Carmelo May is back to return. Takes a little off of the bounce and this man is a beast. He is a human joystick, makes several defenders miss. Looks like he could go all the way as he's on the sideline, but unfortunately gets taken down around the 30. And Patriots make use of the excellent field position as running back Jamari Lester works his way into the end zone for the 13 yard touchdown. And Patriots would go on to win 37 nothing and have locked in the three seed for the state playoffs while the Chargers first season under head coach Jarrett Laws comes to an end. A few other teams were also in action as Georgia Military College defeated Twix County 35-12. Bulldogs need Hancock Central to lose tomorrow to possibly have a chance of making the state playoffs. Macon County defeated Marion County 49-20 and they are locked in as the three seed for the state playoffs.